Hey guys, welcome to Over the Mooney. My name is Katie, and today we are going to be some doing something super fun that is going to be the first of three videos in a very small series about my top 10 most valuable Funkos in my collection for a couple different categories. So obviously judging by the title today, we are going to be doing my top 10 most valuable Disney Funkos. And then we will also be doing my top 10 most valuable Harry Potter Funkos and my top 10 most valuable, like just general fandom Funkos. And I say Funkos instead of Funko Pops because in some of them, my most valuable Funkos are not Pops, which is honestly kind of surprising. Shockingly, I have some minis that are worth almost as much as some of my Pops, which is mind-boggling to me. Um, so we're going to be doing that. Throughout the pandemic, I've been watching a lot of different channels here on YouTube, mostly because I feel like I can burn through all of my usual channels pretty quickly. I watch them so fast and then I don't have anything else to watch. So I started watching a channel called Top Pops, which I will leave a link to down below in the description. He's a pretty big channel. I think he has like 200 something thousand subscribers. So you, there's a good chance that you probably already know who he is. Um, but I've been getting a lot of inspiration from his videos. He does a lot of really fun, creative Funko videos, and I've been missing doing Funko videos here on my channel, so hopefully I can get some more going soon, but this will be the start of them. So the way that I'm going to gauge my most valuable Funkos is through the Funko app, which if you don't know that there's a Funko app, there is. You're able to actually track your collection, and it is hooked up with a website called Pop Price Guide that kind of monitors and puts value on every pop and honestly like it's really surprising because they change so frequently even just like the past week I was looking through them and I think that there's one in here that I do not remember seeing in my top 10 so you never know and honestly my number one floors me because it must have like doubled in in value within the past couple months it was never ever in my top and now it is now it is the top so I'm gonna stop rambling <laughs> we're gonna get into it so we're gonna start from number 10 work our way up to number one so we'll start with number 10 and that is Robin Hood so I have Robin Hood it was a pretty small series of uh, pops that came out for Robin Hood. This one is valued at $45, and I really, really like this pop a whole, whole lot. I think that he is super, super cute, and I love all of the detail on him. So this was a relatively small set of pops. There were only three. I've had them for a while, and this was a pretty instant pickup. I'm pretty sure that John probably got this for me as a present. So he's been in my collection for a while. So he came out in 2014, and he's vaulted, and he's worth $45. So not too shabby, considering that he was like a common pop. There's nothing really like special exclusive about him. So the next one is an exclusive. This one is exclusive to Box Lunch and it was a little bit more of a pricier pop which is why I generally think that this is has a higher value because it already was a little bit more of an expensive pop and that is this Sorcerer Mickey pop and I love love this pop. I think it is such a stunning, stunning, beautiful pop. So like I said, this was a box lunch exclusive. It came out in 2018 and this one's trending value right now is $46. So like I said, just because he was a little bit more expensive, that's probably why it has a high value. But also because this is the only recent pop of Sorcerer Mickey. So we have Apprentice Mickey, but we don't have Sorcerer Mickey. And Sorcerer Mickey as a pop 
came out forever ago. And that is a grail of mine. I want that one so bad. There's actually a two pack that Sorcerer Mickey and Chernabog, which I would love to have, but they, I think the Sorcerer Mickey is close to 200 and the two pack is over 200, if not higher. So <laughs> the odds of me actually getting them is pretty slim to none, but that's okay because I at least have this Sorcerer Mickey and Sorcerer Mickey is my favorite version of Mickey, so this was definitely a no-brainer for me. The next one is also one that is still, at least it says that it's currently available, but it is an exclusive, so it might only be available in the parks. It's a Disney Parks exclusive pop, and it is actually a two-pack, and it is Pele and Barker Parrot. So this one I've kept in the box because I just really love the background of it and I love how they look in the packaging. Um, I've had them on my Disney Parks shelf for quite a while, but I really, really love these two. Um, I can't remember if I got these myself or if I got them in a bippity boppity box. I can't remember, but I really, really like this set. I think that the details, especially on um, the parrot, are so pretty like the colors are just gorgeous so I'm a huge fan of this I even love the back of this one a lot too so this one it says is still available again probably just in the parks because I was actually just looking at the Funkos on Shop Disney recently and I did not see this one on there so you can't buy it online but you probably can get it in the, in the parks when they're open again um, or maybe in like World of Disney or something when that opens but the value on this one is $47. The next one is yet another exclusive and if you see a pattern here it's more often than not that the exclusive ones are a little bit more valuable um, and this one was an Amazon on exclusive. It is from 2019 and it is worth $47 and I'm gonna need all of my hands to, <laughs> to hold these ones up and it is the Shenzi Bonsai and Ed set from The Lion King. These guys are also still available so any of the ones that are available that I can find online I'll leave a link to down below. Again, this one was a more expensive set because there's three of them, and it was also a doo -doo -doo, Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. So it was shared with Amazon, and I really, really like the detailing on all of them. I like that they all have like a different stance, and they're all kind of doing something different. And of course, with Scar being my favorite villain, I couldn't not have his sidekicks to hang out with him, or at least just, you know, cause some trouble in my collection overall. But the detail on them is really, really cool. I just am a huge fan. These three characters are great, great villain sidekicks. They crack me up, and I love how different their personalities are, and they just have some classic lines and everything. And they currently are kind of just being displayed with my, <laughs> my Zazu, who is in like the rib cage. So then my next one is also apparently available, again, not on the Disney website. This is a Disney Parks ex exclusive Funko Pop, and this is from 2018. It has a value right now of $50, and it is the Diamond Edition Orange Bird, who I think is so cute. So I know that I definitely got this one in a bippity boppity box. I initially wasn't like too thrilled about it because I didn't understand why I got him, but I'm so happy that I did because A, I've really grown to love Orange Bird. I think that Orange Bird is so, so cute, but also like this pop is just so pretty. The glitter on this pop is gorgeous. I hope that it comes off in the camera because like I just love the tone changes on the glitter because it's kind of peachy, kind of orange, kind of yellow, so sparkly. And then I love the green glitter on his little tail feathers and his wings. Like this is just such a cute, cute, cute pop and really like stands out in my little Disney Parks shelf that I have going on back there and I just really, really, really love this pop so, so much. So I am very, very happy to have this one in my collection. So we are halfway there guys. We are on to pop number five. This one was definitely one of those ones that was a stressor for me. <laughs> so this one was exclusive to Hot Topic and is available 
ish. Um, I say that with a caveat and I will explain why. This one is currently also worth $50 and it is the Chase version of the Scar Funko Pop that was inside the uh, Lion King mystery box. So that's why I say it's available ish. So if you're unfamiliar with chases, it basically means that it is, I think it's one per case. So one in six of the Funko Pops are going to be different. So the regular one is green and this is the chase version. And I ended up buying two boxes hoping that one of them was going to be a chase and one of them wasn't. And actually I didn't, I think I'll leave a link to that video down below because I think I got home and realized that one of the boxes was already open. People were going in and opening up the plastic to look inside the box to see if they could find a chase, which was very, very irritating. And I hate that people do that, but I was actually lucky enough to make a trade with someone who wanted the common one more than they wanted the chase one. So I made a trade and I was able to get this one. And again, if you don't know me, Scar is my favorite, favorite, favorite Disney character. So so I really wanted to have both versions and I just love this version like I love both of them because I think that they both have a merit but like the red cast on Scar just looks so good and I'm so so pleased with this pop it really is such a stunning beautiful pop with all of the detail his face looks so menacing and I just love the cast that they did on this with the colors and really played around with it because both of them just look, you know, obviously they look the same, but with the coloring they look so different. And so I'm such a big fan of this one. So the next one that I have has been on a journey and a half within like the rankings of my most valuable Funkos. So this one was from 2017 and it was exclusive to the Disney Treasures box. And it is the original, the OG Maleficent Dragon. So for the longest time, this one was like over $100. I want to say that this was in my top two most valuable Funkos. Um, because obviously it was a small group of people. You only got it if you were subscribed to the box. I don't think that they were like selling one-off boxes. You had to be subscribed in order to get it. And so this was the only one that was available that was the Maleficent Dragon. And she, I mean, my God, is just a stunning, stunning piece. All of the detail on her, like she is hands down one of my top five favorite Funko Pops that I own. Like she's just so perfect and so beautiful so then I think what happened was they released the box lunch exclusive one where she's like spitting fire which I will leave a link to down below because I'm pretty sure that that one is still available and then her value just dropped so right now she's valued at $65 which is still pretty good considering that I think the box itself was like 30 or $40 every other month so, and this wasn't the only thing that was in there. There were other things that were in the box, but it's just so funny to me that she just really plummeted probably about half her value, really. I don't care because she still is forever one of my favorites, forever will be one of my favorites. All right, guys, so we are down to our top three most valuable Funko Pops. Um, these ones are all Pops. I will say. <laughs> I think once we get into Harry Potter and the other fandom ones that we're going to start getting into the other types of Funko products, but these are all pops. So number three is a release from 2014. This one is vaulted and is, re is valued at $80. And that is the original Scar Funko Pop that of course has to be in my collection. This is one that I know that John got me for a gift. He's been very steadily climbing up as in value. I think once I started like really looking into collecting some vaulted pops, having like a grail pop list, I'm pretty sure that he was at like 50 to $60. So he's steadily climbing. He again was a common also, but I just, I mean, I had to have this one, right? If he's my favorite Disney character, my favorite villain, like he just, 
has to be in my collection. And there's nothing like too crazy about him. Like he's not like the most detailed pop by any stretch of the imagination, but he's just, it's Scar, so, so I have to have him, of course. So then number two is a similar situation. This one is also valued at $80. This one is from 2014 and is vaulted and is from a collection that I mentioned earlier on in this video, and that is the Robin Hood collection because we have Prince John. I love love this pop so much. I love the detail on him, all of his like rings and his crown. He is just such a fabulous, fabulous pop. I love him. I love him as a villain. I love him as a character. I just, again, this is one that I had to have. So I do have all three. There were only three in this collection uh, for Robin Hood. So it was this one, obviously Robin Hood, and then Sir Hiss. I'm not sure how much Sir Hiss is worth. Sir Hiss is worth 38, so not too shabby by any means, but I just love everything about this pop. <laughs> truly, truly do. He's just such a beautifully detailed pop and a wonderful character. So then number one on my list shocks me to my core. <laughs> it is from 2016 and it is a Hot Topic exclusive and it is valued at $105, which is so surprising to me. And it is, again, I'm gonna need all my hands for this. It is a three pack with Angel, <laughs> my God, Angel, Stitch, and Scrump. I don't know why this is so valuable, but it is. Uh, this is one when I was kind of just in a phase where I was legit just picking up any pop that caught my eye without any sort of discretion. Not that I'm not a Stitch fan, because I am, but I like Lilo more than I like Stitch, and I only have one Lilo pop in my collection. I feel like I have a lot of Stitch. <laughs> and I don't know if maybe it is valuable because this is like the only pop of Scrump and the only pop of Angel, so maybe that's why, because there's so many stitches, my gosh, you can <laughs> throw a nickel and hit a stitch pop if you go into a store. So this is my most valuable one, which was just so surprising, and it really just randomly shot up fairly recently because I think that it was probably like, you know, within like 50 to 60 dollars, which is fair but now it's my most valuable set that I have, which is just crazy to me. So I'll show you guys some detail and you can see, again, definitely a cute set. Love this little scrump. This makes my heart so, so happy. So cute. Um, Angel looks beautiful and I just love how like shy she looks. I am not familiar with Angel at all like at all at all. I'm assuming she came from one of the sequels um, because I did watch the show and I don't remember seeing her in there. So let me know down in the comments below where the heck Angel came from because I truly don't know. Um, and then of course Stitch looking like such a gentleman. <laughs> so this one's definitely, definitely cute. Um, but honestly, seeing that the value for that one went up, I might get rid of it. Um, so I've been cleaning out a lot of my Funkos and I'm looking to do some trade-ins to either, you know, trade in for cash money, which would be great, or just do a trade-in for store credit or something. There's a couple different shops around me that accept trade-ins and that I can work some deals with. I just haven't yet. And especially, you know, with everything going on right now, it's a little, hard to do that anyway because I don't think that those stores are open. I think that adding those ones to my list would make having like a lot be a little bit more appealing because I don't want to just like one off sell these things on eBay or whatever. So I'm probably gonna package them up and put them in my to be traded in pile and hopefully that'll get me some traction with trading these guys in. So that would be great. So that is everything. Those are my top 10 plus kind of um, most valuable Disney Funko Pops in my collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. And I hope that you're looking forward to the other two that I'm doing because I have 
a lot that, again, are surprising. Very surprising. As a matter of fact, no, I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it, but I'll just say my random fandom one where I'm just going to kind of have a, an amalgamation of all sorts of different fandoms. My most expensive one stunned me so much, even more so than this one, because it's just such a random one. But I'm excited to share it with you guys, and I hope that you're excited to see it. If you're a collector, I would love to see your video of what your top 10 most valuable Funkos are. Even if you're not a Disney collector, do whatever category works for you. It's so interesting to take a look at your collection and see which ones are the most valuable. So if you do end up doing that, please let me know because I'm interested to see how your collections have evolved. Um, if you are someone who has any of these Funkos and you are or pop twins, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you're someone that never even knew about the Funko app and just started adding them in and you just have some that are just crazy blowing your mind, let me know about that also because I'm just so curious. People's collections are so fascinating because you never know what can really like take off and become valuable. So let me know. So that is everything that I have for you guys for today. If you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you would give this video a big thumbs up to let me know. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button down below to become a part of our little corner of the internet. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.